Well, as every day passes, the inevitability of a serious conflict between the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party in Delhi seems to be increasing. Now, Arvind Kejriwal has made it absolutely clear he intends to push through the Jan Lokpal Bill, which lies at the heart of the Aam Aadmi Party's philosophy, one way or the other. This comes after the Solicitor General reportedly said that the bill needed to be referred to the central government. But now Kejriwal has support from the former Attorney General Soli Surabji, who believes that the rule which says that no bill can be introduced in the Delhi Assembly without the prior consent of the central government is unconstitutional. A day after Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal took on the Lieutenant Governor Najeev Jung for attempting to stall the Jan Lokpal bill, he has threatened to go to any extent to get his anti-graft legislation passed in the State Assembly. Telling a group of editors at the Press Trust of India, he said, and I quote, Corruption is an extremely important issue, and I will go to any extent. He also says he's written to the Home Minister to withdraw the 2002 order, which directs Delhi government to take approval of the ministry before passage of any bill in the Assembly. And Mr. Kejriwal received support on Saturday evening from constitutional expert and former Solicitor General Soli Sorabji. In his legal opinion, Soli Sorabji says the rule referring bills from Delhi to the central government before reaching the assembly suffers from serious legal infirmities and is unconstitutional. Mr. Kejriwal's government has sought the opinion of five constitutional experts, including Mr. Sorabji. In his letter to the lieutenant governor on this issue, he had quoted four of them as saying, the bill didn't need the central government nod. But today, even as Mr. Sarabji's opinion came in, two of those consulted, K. N. Bhatt and Pinaki Mishra, denied ever having advised K. Shrival on the Jan Lokpal bill. I have not given, I told you, I have not even looked at Jan Lokpal. I have not given any advice on Jan Lokpal. Let me clarify that I have only given opinion on the procedural issues, not on the substantive issues. The differences between the AAP government and the Congress came out in the open after Solicitor General reportedly told Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung that the bill needed to be referred to the central government. A few Minkeshrival told Jung in a communication that was released to the media that there was no such constitutional requirement and that Jung must heed the constitution, not the central government. In his three-page letter, the AAP founder urged Jung not to bow to pressures of the central government, which he said were aimed at killing tough anti-corruption legislation. Mr. Kejriwal's impressive debut in the Delhi elections was largely based on his pre-poll promises, the most prominent being his vow to bring an end to corruption through the Jan Lokpal bill. The Aam Aadmi Party has 27 members in the 70-seat Delhi Assembly beside the support of an independent and a JDU legislator. Minus the backing of the eight Congress legislators, the anti graft bill can't become a law. Delhi's AAP government and the Congress are now headed for a showdown once again. Over the same issue that brought Arvind Kejriwal into the political limelight in the first place. In New Delhi, Sonal Merotra, NDTV.